I'm Brick Road. Let's play a coin toss. <laughs> yeah, this will be fun. Um, let's see. Zem needs the uh, star shoes, the armor, and that's actually it. That's actually all he needs. Because, see, we're going to go after the crown in Pochi's corner of the dungeon now. Um, Pochi actually doesn't have any items that he can use, so his crown is accessible by anyone, except for one little tidbit. Because remember, Pochi is completely immune to monsters, so... If you remember those guys in Mana's chapter, which you should, because it was like last video, this was either, like literally, either you watched it yesterday, or you watched it like two seconds ago and you just clicked the button, and if you don't remember it, you have some serious memory problems, and you need to get to a hospital. But, that dungeon was filled with monsters that were standing right in your path that you had to walk into. Okay, well there are lots of monsters like that in Pochi's chapter as well. The idea being, he's supposed to be immune to monsters. Therefore, the monsters that he can walk into do incredibly large amounts of damage. That's why... The armor is good in this chapter, because when Zemn is wearing armor, he automatically kills any monster he touches. Half the time. Okay, well see, the monster dies 100% of the time, but half the time he takes damage, and half the time he doesn't. It is a coin toss, except instead of heads and tails, it's heads and death. You can already see how much damage the monsters are doing, I'm already down to half my life. So, not exactly the friendliest section of the uh, dungeon to be in. That treasure box there contains the uh, power knuckle, which doubles your damage output. I have no use for it. I do have use for this bread, so I will get that. And then I need to use that guy to jump out of here. Let's get through here. Uh, make it to the next inn, at least. So... I don't know if I want to spoil the surprise for you, because the very end of this dungeon is just such a great... Like, just such a great... I don't even want to say what it is, because it's a bad word. It starts with F and ends with U. <coughs> that voice was hard on the throat. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, just a lovely situation to be in. And it's coming up on a couple screens here. Oh god. Oh god. This has been a no-deaths run so far. I'm impressed. I'm actually very much impressed. Here is... A, one of the gold bags I was talking about. I don't need any more keys, but I guess there's no reason to live, sit there. So you can come down here and get this gold if you want. But it kind of doesn't do you any good. You can't buy anything with your gold until you have the Matic anyway. You know, you can't really buy anything useful. So let's make our way... Back up here. There is another inn closer to the boss, so I don't need to worry about taking no damage. It takes a couple keys to get to this boss. I think you need five keys, but I have so many keys now, it's not even a big deal. Wow! I have no hit points left, like, at all. That one guy did 70 damage to me. That is insane! But that's not even the strongest monster in the area. Okay, this treasure box is a fake. It is a fake treasure box. If you touch it, you die. Instantly. Unless you're using Pochi. Which I'm not. Now... You have to kill the treasure box to get up to the uh, where you need to go. Which means I have to put on the armor and flip a coin. Heads, I can finish the level. Tails, I die. Oh, I killed him! Quick, go, go, go! Let's take off the armor so I'm not draining all my magic. Go, 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 go! Jump! Yes! First try, that was awesome. Oh, wait, no, crap! No, no! Oh, I almost made an enormous mistake. Did you see what I almost did? Did you see? Oh, oh my god, Brick Road. Yeah, that almost sucked. Oh, but it means I gotta kill this stupid guy again. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> All because I forgot to take my shield. How did I finally forget to take my shield? What is wrong with me? It's like Zen had one job. Take the shield, kill the last boss. But no, now I've got to replay that level. Now this isn't a no-deaths run. Uh, 
That was almost awesome. That was almost a completely awesome run. But now I am covered with the stench of failure. Failure and chicken strips, which is what I'm having for lunch. Thank you. Not chicken strips, chicken planks from Long John Silver's. They're delicious. Have you tried them? You should. Land on that guy's head, because screw that guy's head. Man, I hate this level. The thing is, you can't use Pochi for this. I mean, you can if you fight, like, the first boss with him. But anything later than that... And, uh, Pochi kind of can't kill the boss. Because what happens is... He's still immune to the boss's shots if he's using the shield, but because his range is so low... He has to touch the boss anyway to damage him. Which is no good, because this boss that I'm about to fight deals like 40 or 50 damage per hit. Oh, now this bread's not gonna be here. Oh, it is! The bread came back! That kinda wasn't supposed to happen, I don't think. I will not lift, look a gift horse in the mouth, that's no problem at all. Um... But no, Pochi has to literally be touching a boss in order to damage him, which is not a problem if he's fighting this, the first boss, the spider guy. But is a major problem if he's fighting the third or fourth boss who have who do a ton of damage and have a ton of hit points. Like seriously, this boss, if you touch it, the one I'm coming to now is Zem. He does 40 or 50 damage per hit. So yeah. Not gonna happen. Especially not if you don't have the shield. Okay, I've got enough gold for a lot of inn stays, so let's play this safe and stay at all three inns. Why did I not take my shield? That would have been so awesome. But no, I had to be terrible. Oh, all the treasure boxes came back. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, that little secret passage there, there's nothing indicating that that works. Like, nothing at all. Okay, let's, uh... Kill him. Hit the end. Put on the shield. No, wrong way! Come on, Zem! Oh, good. He made it. And let's fight the boss. I had to play this level twice, but it was still the shortest of the levels. Go figure. This boss is awful! Because... You stand here, and you kind of have to just go to him back and forth. And he's got twice as many hit points as you can see on the meter, so even though it doesn't look like I'm damaging him, I actually am. My axes are hitting him and dealing damage. You just won't be able to see any damage until very late in the fight. Which is awful, because if you're just learning the game, it looks like you're just wasting your magic on him. It looks like he's invincible, and you're thinking, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong, it's just this is how the game works. Yeah, see there, I've got his, uh... His life meter is in play now, and I should have enough magic to take him down. I should. Oh god, wouldn't that be awful if I didn't? But I do, don't worry about it. Guys, don't worry about it. Oh man, no I don't! Oh yes I do. Because oh. his shots actually interrupt yours, intercept your, your shots, so like... They just kind of bounce off his little magic, so it is entirely possible to run yourself out of magic in a boss fight and then just kind of sit there holding your butt in your hands. I'm out of here. Bye.